Hello guys, today I will start a new series option pricing and I really hope I can uh, make it this serial as long as possible. So before we start, it's we need to define some uh, define some notation and if we got extra time, we can go over the types of arbitrage definition. So, uh, first we define the treatable asset as x0, but it's actually a vector, and it's defined as this, so x01, x02, da da da, x0n. So the subnote denotes the time, and the supernode denote the number of assets, like different uh, stock, they have different number, so this is a vector. And also we should define, uh, you know, as time going on, we had time at maturity, the asset has its value, and it's also a vector. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, this is uh, for the purpose of uh, easy to show, so I write uh, the arrow on the top of x. Later on, probably won't be able to keep every um, a vector with vector, but bear with me. I think you can understand it from the context. So, it's also from the uh, x t asset x1, mature at t, asset 2, mature at t, da da da, asset n, mature t, still same notation, I will write it again. So, uh, next definition we need to perform is, um, so, uh, statical, static portfolio, Leo, has been required, right? So, what a uh, the definition of static portfolio is a theta. This is also a vector. It's defined as theta one da 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 to theta n. Notice there's no uh, footnote here or subnote here because this is a static portfolio. Oh, sorry about that. Let me delete that. This is static portfolio. So, uh, uh, this is the weight of different assets. So, if it's static, it means that the weight doesn't change through time. Maybe I should type this. Okay. And uh, we define the value of portfolio at time t is the weight times the asset. So uh, it should be writing in the weight of asset 1 times the uh, value of asset 1 at time t plus weight of asset 2 times the asset 2 value at time t dot 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 you know n n t okay this is how we define okay so we can now move on to uh, the definition of arbitrage arbitrage Defin definition so there's uh, totally two types of the arbitrage type 1 and type 2 oh, I probably won't need this so the type 1 arbitrage
is defined as this. So uh, it says that the value of your portfolio start with zero, and if with these two condition hold that you have a arbitrary portfolio. So the condition is the value of your portfolio one portfolio at mature time t is greater or equal to zero with probability one. That means that you got a you got a you got Positive portfolio for sure, right? And uh, also, if your portfolio will have a positive return with some probability. That means uh, this is a type one arbitrage. You can think about this like um, I can guarantee my money at time of maturity, and uh, there's some chance I can win money for free. Remember, important thing is you sh you could start you could start you could start this. Uh, portfolio with no cost. So that's a big problem. So you have no cost for this portfolio and you will have some return for sure. You have no per no cost and you have some return for sure. Okay. So the type two is very similar. They are equivalent almost and very easy to understand is uh, so if you start with a portfolio Sorry about that. Change of color. If you start with the portfolio is negative value, and uh, if at time mature the value of uh, portfolio is greater or equal to zero, with probability one, that you got a type two arbitrage. So this. Oh, under the assumption you got a static portfolio, the weight won't change, uh, something like that. And the next time, uh, we'll, I will give some example about uh, type one or type two uh, arbitrage example to walk you through through this definition. Okay, thank you.